Hi, my name is Hanna from Thrive Themes and in this video I'm going to show you how you can modify free stock images to use on your website without damaging your conversions. To do so, I'm using PicMonkey. PicMonkey is a free online tool that you can use to modify all of your pictures. Simply click on Edit, choose your picture, and let's take it from here. So the first thing you want to do is to crop this image to make it more interesting. As you can see here in the general panel, so these are the basic edits, you can see that this image is 3318 pixels wide. So it's a quite a big image. And what we are going to do first is to crop this image. So click on the crop. And here you can choose the proportions you want to use. I'm choosing 3 by 5 and I want it to be in this direction. So first of all, I'm not going to change the size for the moment, I'm just going to choose how I want or what part of the picture I actually want to use in my image on the blog. So I think it is more interesting to have the camera to the side. And once I'm satisfied with this, I can simply apply or double click on the image. So now we already have an image that doesn't look anymore like the original stock photo. And that is exactly what we are trying to do here. So now for, my, for the blog, for my blog images, I know that the best size is 360. So I'm going to put this and apply. This is the first step. Crop the image. The next step is to apply an effect on the photo to change the colors, for example. And in PicMonkey, you can do that in the menu Effect. One effect I like is the cross process and the blue one. So that's the one that I'm going to apply. But I encourage you to look at all these different effects and to play around to make sure that you have something that you like and that matches your brand and your website. Next, I'm going to apply an overlay on this image so that when I put the text on it, the text is going to be very readable. Overlay is actually the butterfly uh, icon. So you can see here that you can choose hearts or whatever, but what we want now is geometric. So geometric, choose the rectangle, and I'm going to put this rectangle all over my image. So now the whole image is black. And as you can see here in the overlay menu that's popped up, I can choose the color, but for me black is fine for now. But if you click on it, you can choose any color you want and you can put the hex code so you can really adapt it to your website. So I want it black. And here you can change the fade so you can make it transparent. And that's exactly what I want to do to make sure that my picture is still showing. So I'm going to put it on 50% transparent. One thing that I want to do before I continue working on this image is actually flatten the image so that these elements won't change anymore and that I cannot select the background anymore when I'm going to put text on it. So you simply can click on this. Watch out because once you do it, you cannot change it anymore. So make sure that you like the image as it is and then click on the, the, on the combine all elements everything is combined. Now I cannot select the overlay anymore, so I cannot change it anymore, but that's exactly what I want. Next, I will add some text on this image. So I click on the text button. Here you can choose if you want to use their fonts or if you want to use your own fonts. So those are the fonts that are already installed on your computer. On the Drive Teams website, we use Roboto, so that's the one I'm going to select. Add text. And I'm going to paste my text here. Now that I have the text that I want to have on this image, I can change the size of the text and the color. So for example, I want this text to be white. So again, I can change here the color, so the, the hex code, or I can use the picker to simply choose one of the colors here. And I can change the size. I want to put this on 45 and the alignment of the text and you can also so now this is what I want 
This already looks quite nice, but I'm going to add our logo to make sure that if somebody shares this image and the original link to the website has been broken, for example, that we still know that the image uh, comes from the Thrive Themes website. So for that, you go back to the overlay and you choose here your own. I have a white logo that I'm going to put in the corner. And I'm going to make it a little bit more transparent, so 25%, so that it doesn't pop out on the image too much and that it still allows people to share without having the impression that they are actually sharing publicity for Thrive Themes. That is very important. So now this is exactly how I want the image to look. So the last thing I have to do is save it. Simply click on save, give it a name, choose if you want to save it in JPEG or in PNG, and then click on save to my computer. That was the tutorial to show you how you can modify free stock images to use on your website and to make sure that they don't hurt your brand or your conversions.